some reason I had this block and I couldn't ever feel that, but I finally felt that in 2017. And so at that time, then that's when I had the conversation with my wife and my kids and said, I'm going to be working like an insane amount for the next six months, because by the end of this year, if it all works out, I want to quit my engineering job, be a full-time entrepreneur. And that's what I talked about earlier. I just started taking on any client I could find. I built this like war chest basically of, of, of money to be able to take this risk. Cause again, I was a sole income earner. Um, so I, I would say it was 2017 is when I would start calling myself, I'm a marketer and you can hire me to do stuff. And I was building websites, Facebook ads, Google ads, Google my business, uh, just strategy bundles. Like I was doing like kind of everything, which I do not recommend. But in hindsight, I'm really glad because it gave me so much weird, varied experience uh, <laughs> that it really helps me now in coaching people. Um, but yeah, that's that's uh, that's kind of where the marketing education comes in. But yeah, I don't like you said, I don't have any degree in marketing. I don't have any degree in marriage counseling. I'm so glad that you yeah. said that and that that's true because I think so many people or experts or, or people out there looking for stuff like that is that you don't always need someone. I mean, I'm, I'm all about professionals. Like I'm not going to tell you that somebody that's performing backyard surgeries is going to remove my you know kidney if I need right. that. I mean, let's right. be real. But when we're talking about marketing, we're talking about um, releasing products, we're talking about business. There's, you can get a business degree, you can have a business degree, but you don't actually learn the things till you do the things. Right. And then you realize, hey, uh, we, we've had plenty of conversations with friends, with people that, that we, you know, even just like you said, you don't have to be a marriage counselor with some certificate or degree to let everybody know how you were able to solve your problems, right? Yep. I mean, like, I don't have a degree in foreclosure, but I can tell people what the process looks like feels like and how you can come out of it because that's yeah. my experience yeah. and that doesn't mean you have to be a professional um i don't have to have five houses foreclose on me for some for me to share my experience <laughs> to have right. somebody else be helped by that and yeah. so um that's what i love about these things is that we're all you know if we have a dedication to helping people and serving people um and only being one 